This time around, I'm creating two EPs. One is Crown and one is Jewel. Crown is more of a classic dream records that would go into my base of, of fans that will understand immediately what it is that I'm, that I'm trying to do and trying to relay. Jewel is more based in trying to introduce my fans to the other part of me that they probably know or probably don't know. That's My Shit is the, is the first um, official single, um, of course, accompanied with fruition on, on iTunes. There was like a double A-side single that, that we released. That's My Shit is just that record that they've been wanting to say since probably Love Versus Money and I just haven't given them that record. I turn around and look to my fans and say, oh no, I haven't forgotten that dream and I still have these <laughs> witty and unique ways to say what it is that I want to say. I've had a com conversation with someone who knew that I did XO and didn't know, know that I had done anything else other than a song like XO. My fans who known that I did rocking that, you know, and, and I Love Your Girl, but had no idea that I did XO or Umbrella or A Baby for Justin Bieber, kind of has changed hip hop, you know, culture, period, from what we called R&B album in 2007 and Love Versus Money in 2009. Like, it impacted the hip hop culture more than it did R&B. I would never speak on my behalf on what I mean to, to other people. Drake is one is, that's been graceful at saying, you know, that I've influenced him a lot. And there's some that, that haven't, you know, I don't look for them to say it and it's, it's totally fine. Once you put it into the universe, you know, it is, it, it is what it is. My job here in music is a lot deeper and, and just more, um, it has more width you know, and so I just want people to know that.